made in 1971 filming around springtime after a serious goal had finished filming uh, by LWT. The On The Buses films were all Hammer Productions and this was Hammer's biggest box office success. Filmed at Elstley Studios. Here we can see Elstley Studios as is the part that remains today. It's been half in size over the, um, since the late 1980s, early 90s. This was Soundstage 5 that doubled as a depot, sadly no longer there. Now a Tesco Extra Superstore stands on that site now. Here we see the bus heading down Shenley Road, the main road in Boreham Wood. Note the houses, the shops and the flats on the other sides of the road. They're all there unchanged to this day. This is the westernmost end of Shenley Road towards the train station end. Here we see the bus coming in to a bus stop on placed on Washington Avenue. Houses still remain the same in the background. And further south along Washington Avenue we see the bus pulling up to pick up Mum. Not really changed, the houses around here are all the same. Now we see Mum standing here outside a shop, not the Great Island down the side of the shop there, on the left, on the right hand side, sorry. Still there to this day, although the shop is between owners, hence the, the grey shutters, the metal shutters you've got there. Same with where Arthur's standing outside that same shop. And there's shutters down, as I say. Now moving on to Fusk Road here. Note the dip in the road and the houses on your right hand side. They're still there to this day. Over on the left hand side of the road you can see there's a bit of building works going on there. Some houses and more trees planted. And you can see Blakey here getting splashed. Look at the balcony on the side of the house in the background. There it is. Still there to this day. The houses haven't changed there at all. Into the city centre we're heading now, town centre, sorry. And we see Jack here hanging off the back of the bus. Note the house there on right on the left-hand corner there of the picture. That's undergone some uh, extension work there. We see the bus heading through the town centre, Shenley Road again. Look at the shops on either side of the road, still there to this day. The road has been narrowed though with a central reservation, makes it a bit of a nightmare to drive in. Here we see the bus heading up Clarendon Road. Note the plaque on the side of the houses there, that's saying Banbury Terrace, it's still there to this day. The houses are unchanged as well. And the Butler House at Two Malden Road. Note the walls there outside the properties, they've uh, actually gone now. Brickwork's gone in place of in favour of a white look. And we see the bus heading up here, White House Avenue heading up. Look on the left hand side of the uh, picture to the bungalows, all still there to this day. And the flats in the background are Canterbury House and Boreham Wood. Note the semi-circular part where the bus stops out at. And looking across the tunnel around Betty's, some work has gone on here over the years. And um, that is 20 White House Avenue for tunnel around Betty's. Wasserline Pole is still there, uh, by the way. Here we see uh, Olive getting shown to the family planning clinic, which was the studio manager's house, which is no longer there. That was demolished. Note the road sign on the left, though, uh, is unchanged. Here we see the bus heading up towards the laundrettes uh, in Boreham Wood. This is Manor Way. The Fellowship Church is hidden behind those trees. It still stands, as you see in the film itself. And here at Manor Way, the bus stops and there you see the laundrette and it's still a laundrette to this day would you believe although they obviously it'll have changed owners since then and so the signage changed the whole shopping parade here that you see um, man away and it's not changed at all as you can see it's absolutely as was even with the um no entry sign and looking across the other side of Manor Way, we see the flats, which are Stirling House. Not changed at all there, apart from our um, liquor paint, but still the same. And the house, the shops again, with the flats above them on Manor Way in the background.
and looking back down, looking north on uh, Manor Way, you see the house in the background there. Still no change there whatsoever, where uh, you see Reggie's daughter there, that was Jean Varney, and that scene. Back to White House Avenue we go here, if we have a look at the um, manor covers there on the road, you can see they're still there to this day. The telephone box stood outside uh, number 20 White House Avenue. As you can see, that was a prop. Um, they wouldn't have demolished our telephone box for that scene. I'm just saying when the bus uh, then reverses into the um, shelter, the bus shelter, again, a prop for the part. There was never a bus uh, stop at this location. And here we move on to the Chiswick skid pan, which was closed in the early 1980s, demolished in 1987. And there's the buildings that we see in the, in the background there. It's now a business park, so uh, it's totally different to as it was. And this is uh, back to North Wood again we head. This is Werribee Road here. Note the houses uh, underwent some cosmetic changes, but still structurally the same. And we head a little bit further away for this location, although it's part of the same scene. This is on Gateshead Road. So the houses in the background haven't changed. The lamppost's still there as well. Then we head back to North Boreham Wood again. And we see the bus heading down, diverted down. Um, this is Cromwell Road here. Again, aesthetic changes here. The house is structurally the same, but the uniform white look has gone. And this is at the foot of Cromwell Road when the bus sees another diversion sign. Note the lamppost still there as is the alleyway round to the back of the properties. So it's not changed at all. And then the bus turns along Cromwell Road. Note the electricity piling on your left hand side and the telegraph pole and the lamppost all still there to this day. And Cromwell Road, Boreham Wood. And again Cromwell Road. Not the lamp post here, it's still there to this day, although it's a more modern design, concrete lamp post gone. And here we see the bus heading along Leeming Road, note the shops on either side of the road there and the flats in the background, still there to this day. And here we head back up onto Gateshead Road, which is used quite heavily in this film. This is when the um, bus is swerving. The only addition here being the painted roundabout onto the road now. And again, the bus is still swerving with the driver with the spiders climbing up her legs. Note the electricity piling there on your right hand side, still there to this day. And the bungalow just be below it. Here we see the back up onto Gateshead Road, the truck here is on Stanford Avenue. Note the crack in the road is still there, would you believe, as well, in this road surface. And then we head with the bus heading down uh, Gateshead Road. Note the telegraph pole there on your right, still there to this day. Lamp posts all new designs, obviously, um, that's changed. And we see the bus heading into the back of the dumper truck here. This is on Stamford Road Avenue again, sorry. Gateshead Road in front of us. No real change there at all. The house is the same, still has a um, lamp post. Now this is south, near South Mims on St Albans Road uh, where the bus pulls into a garage. It's now a car washing facility so you wouldn't be able to get petrol and such like there. As you can see it's not really changed. St Albans, this is on Park Street in St Albans, Park Street Lane actually, and there you can see the toilets are still uh, working toilets as after all those this time, which is very good. Now we see the woman driver coming out of a toilet in a public house. Note the big tree on your left hand side there, still there to this day, but the doorway has been filled in with a window replacing it. And she heads out to go back onto a bus and she's a gentleman watering the plants there. Note the house on your right hand side was a clue to this location. Then the big gap and then the smaller building on the left hand side. So that's the White Horse and London Road, Shenley. This is London Road further south of Shenley where the bus pulls up. 
that's a clue here was the three lamp the three telegraph poles that run down the side of the road there and the entrance into the farm on your left back to Leeming Road with a bike turning into Acliffe Road in North Bodham Wood no real change there at all you can see the shops all still remain Back onto London Road that runs through the town of Shenley again. Note the fence on the, your right hand side that uh, is into our nursery school that stands there. Again in the town of Shenley, this is Newcombe Road. Note that house in the background there and look at the extension it's had since 1971. Quite a big extension there. Back to North Boreham Wood again, this is Cowley Hill, not the um, manhole cover in the middle of the road there, at the foot of the road there you can see still there to this day. The properties are still the same on the right hand side as well, although that big white um, garden wall has been added. This is Wash Lane and just uh, near the South Mims services, it's no longer a road now, it's prone to flooding and it's now better used as a, um, just as a cycle track. This is still on Wash Lane, the Humpback Bridge, Humpback Bridge still there, it's been rebuilt I would say since then and in the background you can see is our hotel that's in South Mims, Mims service station. This is back in Shenley again, known as the Shenley Triangle locally, Rectory Lane on Shenley. And where the motorbike goes to rest here is on uh, Mims Lane in the uh, town of Shenley again. That barn there, part of a farm, has gone under a little bit of renovation as you can see. And when Stan runs out to stop the bus, this is at the same location, Mims Lane. A lot of um, growth to the trees and the bushes on your right hand side there. And here this is on Rowley Lane. Easternmost end of Boreham Woods, almost in Barnet, where you can see the fence on your on the uh, right of the road as we look, it's still the same, although it's lost all its white paintwork there. And when the driver sees the diversion sign, again Rowley Lane, and you can see the bushes and trees have grown up a lot since 1971. This is part of what was the old part of the studios that was knocked down. The building there was an admin block, it's now gone of course. You can still see the side of the hotel there which is now the LCN was the Grosvenor Hotel. This scene was filmed on at Bull Road, number 188 Bull Ed Road as you can see same door, same windows um, so not a lot changed there although that has um, maybe going to change in the next few years as is a new owner there. Now on to the closing credits, we see the bus heading along Brook Road, note the park on the left hand side of the road there, and the houses still remain the same on the right. Heading closer towards the studios, heading in towards the centre of Boreham Wood, um, note the house on the left hand side there, still exactly the same. I think that's Stratfield Road there where that house sits on the corner of, and we see the bus heading up, Broffins Road on your left, uh, right hand side, no change there at all. So that takes us through the filming locations of the first spin-off film and I hope you enjoyed that and we hope to do it again.